Hey everybody, what is up? This is Sir Venom IK coming to you for another review. This is a final review on the USS Benham. That's right, the USS Benham. Now this boat is a little bit, I think this boat's a little bit controversial uh, for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, 65 second max torpedo reload or minimum or torpedo reload, however you want to do it. If you, if you put the module on it, the torpedo module, and you take torpedo reloader in your captain, you can get this torpedoes down to 65 seconds. That's, gener that's generally not a big deal. But when you have 16 torpedoes, you have uh, two by fours on each side, so basically four by fours, uh, you always have torpedoes. Now these torpedoes are short torpedoes. They're basically Fletcher torpedoes. They're 65 knots and they go 10 and a half kilometers. I've, uh, I've, uh, I've been very adamant about this boat that this thing needs higher torpedo reload. I'm thinking 75 to 80 seconds to make this thing a little bit more fair for everybody else. In this world of just flat torpedo spam, this fits right in that world. It is not a, yeah. Downsides to this boat, let's go ahead and go to the downsides first. Downsides to this boat, it does have the American 127s. Uh, the American 127s, as everybody knows, under six kilometers, they are monsters. These are absolute monsters. Uh, over six kilometers, it's got a lot of loop to it. So if anybody pencils away from you and they're six kilometers, you're going to be hard pressed to hit these people. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, but that just plays exactly like the Fletcher. I don't care. I don't, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me what it plays like. Uh, the, the 127s over six kilometers are probably the, some of the worst guns that I have ever played in this game. Well, I'm a little biased on that because, well, either way, that's besides the point. The point is the guns are good up close. You can gunboat some people down. You're going to have a hard time gunboating anything at tier 10. Uh, the gearing, will, the gearing will eat this up. The, uh, the, the Yu Yang will eat this thing up. The uh, the Graz of oil eat this up. Uh, everything is basically gonna is gonna beat this thing up in a gunfight, but uh, that's okay because all you have to do is survive for 65 seconds and you have another set of torpedoes that you can drop on this guy. Uh, other than that, this boat is pretty good. It's a fun boat. It's not a Fletcher class boat. It's something different. I don't not I'm not quite sure. I'm sure somebody in the comments will say, "Oh, this is a blah blah blah." Get your history right. Whatever doesn't matter to me. Uh, but it's a decent boat. I really enjoy this thing. This is another reward ship. You have to complete every every, uh, every aspect of the Rogue Wave event to earn this boat, and I highly encourage people to, to do that because this boat is game-changing. So this boat is pretty good. I really like this thing. I highly encourage everybody to take part in the Rogue Wave event just to earn this boat. I don't care if you guys enjoy anything else. I don't care if you guys like the hill, which is another reward for this thing. I don't care if you guys don't even give two aching poops about this, uh, about this Rogue Wave event. You're going to want to do this event just to get this Benham. You don't want to be caught without it, dude. 16 torpedoes every 65 seconds makes for an interesting game. Well, that's it for me. I'm Sir Venom IK. You guys can hit me up over here at twitch.tv slash Sir Venom IK pretty much every night, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, if you guys want to discuss anything that we've talked about here on this channel. I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you all next time.